Well, that had everything, didn't it? Two all, Norwich against Spurs. Offsides, VAR, seven minutes of added time. I don't know where, yeah. where they came from. Point of peace, is that fair? Listen, I, I, if it had been a boxing match, I would have said Tottenham won on points. Okay. You know, they were, the, they were the aggressor. Norwich doing what they had to do, and that is defend for their lives. And when they could, just try and break on Tottenham, who, who all season... Uh, have been losing goals. Mm. Not just goals, but crazy goals. Or his own goal was one of the craziest. Yeah, just Keystone Cops time. But that's what's going on defensively for Tottenham. You know, when you go away to a team that's stayed in relegation in the face and you score twice and you get a penalty, you expect to yeah. win the game. We've seen them score a lot since Jose Mourinho came in. We've also seen them concede a lot as well. And I know Toby Alderweireld has just signed a new contract. Does Mourinho need to look at defensive help in January because of all the goals they're conceding? Absolutely, 100%. You know, you're, you're looking at Alderweireld and, and all of a sudden he signs a contract, but I think he's past his best. I also think Vertonghen's past his best. Uh, and it looks like Mourinho and his predecessor, uh, Pochettino, weren't that keen on him, Vertonghen, at centre-back either. And I don't think he's a left-back. So if you've got Alderweireld who's past it, or past his best, you got a Tongan who, who's a centre back, but they don't like him there, and he's playing left back. Then you've got problems. And if you look at the goals against, that backs it up. Var. So Pukki's goal is offside. Premier League have, have have done a few things with, with with Var that other nations haven't done, and and for whatever reason it hasn't worked. This isn't a Premier League thing. This this is in operation all over the place with VAR. But do you like it? Absolutely, spot on. Absolutely. You know, you can't have it always. If I know. It, we, we sat and argued that we couldn't tell 100% whether the red line was behind the blue line. Yes. But I, I actually believe that the, the technology, to them, the technology they're, they're using showed them that Pookie was offside. And I'm happy with that. I will take that. Football's changed. People have to realise that. Human beings, certainly British people, we don't like change. But, but this is what it's become. It's how... It's not going to go away. It's, it's here to stay. It's how it's tidied up. Because right now it's a bit messy, and I totally get your point. You, you can't suddenly bring something in because you're not happy at assistant referees getting things wrong and then complain that when it's right, it's still wrong. But how can we tidy this up so there's not so much of a delay? Experience. Just experience. It's experience. It's, it's like football players. When you, when you are a young, inexperienced footballer and you step on the field, you make mistakes. But the, the, the more experience you get, the more composure you get, the more understanding you get, you start making better decisions. So patience. That's exactly what I, patience, yes. I think that's exactly what's going to happen with FAR. Let's talk about Norwich. Um, Watford beat Villa, so they're kind of moving up. Bournemouth lost. Norwich are in there. That's a big point for them. Yep. Do you see enough in their team? Do you see guts? Do you see Pookie's goals or, or, or whatever for them to be okay? I see guts. Mm -hmm. No question. Definitely, yep. they, they've absolutely got a fire about them. But, you know, the, the end of the day, it will come down to the quality that they have. Quality they have going forward and quality they have defensively. Do they have enough? And neither of those things, in my opinion of a high enough quality to keep them in the Premier League. You worried for them? Oh, I think they're in trouble. Carroll Road, the key then. That's a good point, though, for Norwich. But again, VAR will dominate the headlines. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.